Hey everybody! Well today's video is going to be a review on my new Suku brushes. Those are the brushes that Lisa Eldridge not only uses in most of her tutorials but also talks pretty highly about in her favorite brushes video. Now I was really lucky that a co-worker's husband was going over to London and she asked me if he could pick anything up for me and I said as a matter of fact he can and he just texted me the other day that he had so much fun in that store and actually at the makeup counters that he's going back next month and he would be happy to pick up anything else for me so I'm definitely going to be considering what kind of a list I can get together for him. The two brushes that I had him pick up for me and yes I only bought two because I will tell you guys these are extremely expensive brushes. They are probably the most expensive brush that I have in my brush collection, and I would say that they're even more expensive than some of the higher end, like the S line in the Hakuhodo brush line. What I picked up was a cheek brush and an eyeshadow brush, the eyeshadow L brush. They come, as you can see, in these plain black boxes. There's no felt even lining on the inside of them. They just come in a plastic sleeve. Doesn't matter, they're still an amazing brush. So first, just to give you a little background on the company, the brushes are made by a company called Chikohoto, which is similar to, I think, Hakuhoto. They're actually made in the same area in Japan. They're also a very high quality brush company. I think they're a little bit smaller than Hakuhoto is, and I think they were founded around 1952. In addition to making items for Suku, they also make brushes for, I believe, Shiseido, and also for Kanevo Sensei. Now that's a very high-end line that's available in Saks and and Marcus. They're really better known for their face products and makeup than they are for their brushes, but my understanding is that this company also makes their brushes as well. So these are the two brushes that I picked up and I'm going to compare them to a couple other size-wise for you because you can see that first impressions I was very shocked by the fact that they are so incredibly tiny. Not only by the handles being so tiny, but even of the heads of them being so tiny. So this one is the cheek brush and this one is the L eyeshadow brush. So I'm going to start with the cheek brush and I'm going to show you just in comparison to one other brush anyway so you can see. This happens to be my Hakuhodo S110 brush and that's, you can see the head difference there and the length. Now this is just a little bit longer but I'm sure plenty of you will have cheek brushes or blush brushes in your collection that have much larger handles than this. Now I personally do not mind the shorter one. I like them both. I like longer handles for certain applications and I like the short handles also. I am just like brushes in general so I'm pretty happy either way. But you can see here the difference comparison of the heads. That being said, this is definitely one of the silkiest brushes that I own. A very good friend of mine and I were laughing the other night over the fact that every time we watch a video of someone showing a brush, they're always patting it sort of subconsciously, or maybe not subconsciously, and they're also rubbing it against their face and maybe rolling their eyes back. This is absolutely no exception. Definitely the softest brush that I have. Now the thing about this being so silky, what I think is so great about it, is that you only need a very, very small amount of your product. This does not absorb the product into it. It just sort of lies the product right on top of it and then you just apply it so easily. You can either, of course, do your blush right up into your hairline, just on the apples of your cheeks, or I think you could use it for a few other applications too. You could definitely do it for highlighting. Um, perhaps for doing some powder like under your eye. Of course it depends on the type of application that you like, but I think you could get more than just the sort of cheek uh, brush you use out of it and perhaps even use it for some of your powders. The reason is, is that even though there is definitely substantial hair on it, you can see that how flexible it is and I think that really allows you to move the product around very easily. The next one is the L eyeshadow brush that I mentioned to you another absolutely amazing brush. Now I will tell you that I use this brush today for my total eye look. What I did was I went in and took my highlighting color and I used it up against my brow bone. I used my lid color and patted it on, on my lid and then I went in and what I did was sort of like as an angle for my contour. I started sort of this way and just angled sort of halfway up and sort of in an upward motion towards my eyebrow and then lightly feathered the rest of it in into the corner of my eye. One brush and I did the whole look and it worked absolutely beautifully. So again, it's a really, really tiny, tiny brush so I think some of you will be pretty surprised by that. I have to say that I do have another brush in my collection that I think is a pretty good dupe for it. It's from Hakuhodo. I'll put the name of which one it is here because I, I don't have it in front of me. You can see a little bit closer. They're very similar. They're very similar in the size of the handles. I would say that the Hakuhodo 
other one is a little bit wider, but as far as the shape, the general shape of them and the height of the head of them, they're pretty much identical. So all in all, I have to tell you guys that I absolutely love these brushes, but I will warn you again, they are very expensive. I believe the two brushes together, and I'm not sure because of the conversion and the VAT and such, that they were just under, I think just under $200, which is a really expensive brushes, but they are definitely worth the investment. All of the research I did on them showed that people have had them for years and years and years, that they wash beautifully, that they have used them and loved them and have had absolutely no wear and tear on them whatsoever from what I can find. I'll put a picture to the side so you can see the lacquered handles and you can see where the imprinting is of the name that's done, a laser printing on the side with a Suku name on them. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing those brushes. I have definitely not been around lately, but that does not mean that I have not been hauling makeup and so hopefully over the weekend I will sit down and do a fairly large haul I think for you or maybe I'll even split it into two videos we'll see take care everyone hope you have a great weekend speak to you soon